everyone my name is rajat singh on behalf of amritsar founders i welcome you all topic for today's webinar is tips to design your ideal home office by mr gunit singh khurana gunit singh khurana is an architect by profession and runs his firm design arc and also manages online sales and marketing in his family container manufacturing business he is the founder of rk studio student.net an online knowledge sharing platform for the growing community of architecture and designers he did his bachelor's in architect from guru nanak dev university amritsar uh, guys we will be taking question and answers in the last segment of the webinar so i kindly request everybody to type your questions in the comment section or chat section so we will start with you uh, gunit uh, thanks a lot rajat for the short introduction hi my name is guni and i am an architect so you have got your desk computer books chairs all ready but there are few practical points that might just make you more productive so let's discuss about the tips to design your ideal home office in this presentation we'll be taking up four major parts it would be selecting a space for your home office based on your needs planning your ideal workspace equipping your workspace and simple tips to design a positive aura of workspace let's start with some something like selecting a space for home office based on your needs so first of all uh, it's selecting a home home workspace is a very thoughtful process productivity productivity is very important whether set, setting up a corner desk or a separate room for home office location type size of workspace depends upon type of business you are operating so if you are operating uh, say a professional business like an architecture firm or a law firm so you might be requiring a place which is easily located from from outside clients can come from outside they don't have to hinder with the family engagements so business and family balance is very important see in this segment uh, in the first image what we are showing is this shows a separate room for the office and in the next two images we have a uh, rooms which are connected to the lobbies so in the first room we can say clients can come and have an easy access from the outside but in the both cases we don't have a client client engagement and accordingly there will be a hamper with the family family and businesses so in order to do that we need to have separate spaces so we'll be starting with first separate room for home office a separate room is one of the most popular choice for almost any type of home based businesses that has no or few client visitors create the full office experience or use as much as little space as you need in addition since this is a dedicated workspace you can decorate as your choice and take care of all functional needs so in this you don't require in the businesses which don't require any client engagements like freelancing or any other uh, maybe uh, you are doing anything online so you in that case you don't require any client engagement so in that case you can have a separate of a room space bedroom which is connected to your room from inside workspace in converted garage see uh, in a in a garage can be a great space for a business especially if it is attached to the home and has a separate entrance from outside you need you need not to spend much more money as there as there is a garage with your uh, home and it can be created and it can be renovated any time staff and clients can easily manage can be easily managed in the type of this home space usually people consider it as a very low standard if someone starts his or her home uh, home office in a converted garage but we must admit that it should not be the case few of the world's biggest companies we know uh, have been started from these garages you take amazon apple microsoft uh, hp google all these were started from uh, your converted garages so let's let's see if anybody knows this person he has started his uh, home office uh, workspace from garage and developed a multi million dollar company so Uh, can i expect any answers from you all right i think we are getting few answers yeah raghav it's absolutely right he is steve jobs 
he started his uh, home he started his working from his uh, converted garage and converted his company into a multi million dollar company so next option is office and home basement basements provide good and increasingly popular option for home work space they can be very beneficial if you plan separate entry and exit from outside the main door it can accommodate large number of clients work staff if designed properly and have sufficient areas headroom and your uh, lighting conditions should be considered in case of a basement sometimes basement offices uh, become very major concerns if you have a lot of moisture or dampness in these areas so we have few options for the basement offices and this is something which is uh, going very in for these days spare wall corners of lobby or room this is a great solution for bedroom family room or living room that needs a workspace within it people usually prefer these kind of places and it is more private working play with shape and sizes of the overhead shelves to increase the uh, beautify uh, to beautify this place next is the workspace under the stairs as we know stairs are, uh, under the stairs the space is uh, is almost dead people don't use those stairs uh, those space and uh, they keep all the dead uh, dead usable items over there so we can convert this space if you if the headroom permits we can convert this space into a workspace you just need a working table stool chair uh, uh, lights and shelves mind it this space can be very productive but you you need to consider a fact that you require a lot of light under these stairs because there'll be a shadow from the stairs upside next is office in closet this is a very interesting option and we call it a clofess as the name suggests best thing of this setup is you whenever you don't feel like working you just need, you just shut the door and your office is gone it's a very a very unique and very interesting kind of a uh, option and it can be uh, it in this can be developed in any home any time there is an attic office space see when when there are sloping roof inside uh, in the houses uh, preferably the american american houses uh, there are a lot of attic spaces developed those are off shaped spaces shaped oddly and have slanting roofs and uh, so in that uh, spaces usually people prefer uh, these store rooms but if you if you plan it accordingly if you can if you, if you can set the balance you can also create a home office in that space though so you don't need a separate outside entry for the clients see in this in this space the client engagement won't be possible if if and only if your house is designed in such a way that there is a separate entry to this attic space from the outside then only the client engagement is possible otherwise this option is very much possible very much feasible for the people who are doing freelancing second the con uh, the uh, if you talk about the con of this place so wa walking up and down the flights of the stairs gets some uh, cumbersome and tiring then comes the workspace along passage and entry ways if you have a passage which is a wide enough say around 7 to 8 feet and the, and that space is vacant along the wall and you don't utilize that much space so you can you can easily Uh, manage that space by creating a workstation and you and and you can develop a workspace uh, home office workspace on that passage as well with a with a width of 2 feet or maybe maybe 1 1 feet 9 inches and overhead uh, cabinets of 15 inches so you can develop that uh, into a very beautiful workspace then comes an outdoor home office in enclosed uh, outdoor home office in enclosed cabanas or tree houses these are very beautiful option uh, in this is possible in large houses where there is a lot of space outside the house maybe a green space so this can be a, a lot of creative structures can be designed close to the nature as it is just next outside your house and very close to the nature it is planned basically in the front yards or backyards of the house with side lanes so that there is an easy access of clients and staff coming and going out just consider the beauty, building bylaws 
before constructing such structures because in in these structures you are you are uh, creating or constructing constructing the area more than your uh, house area all right so in this case bylaws should be considered considering the uh, setbacks and other other requirements so next we come into foot of the bed see if there are large uh, you have a large uh, bedroom say around uh, maybe a bedroom which has a size of around maybe 14 by 20 so and your bed is placed uh, along the axis of 20 feet or maybe in any case if the if the bed is placed in the 16 feet as well so in that case you can you can place ottoman and a small uh, sitting in front of your bed that can develop into a workspace itself bed extensions these days when when we create when we uh, when we uh, make furniture or maybe when we make uh, beds these days we usually create bed bed extensions or platforms after the mattresses so if we have a bed uh, extension of around 1 feet so you can also use that space for sitting and and uh, simultaneously place a, a a table in front of your platform and that will be a private working space for you there are certain some uh, two more uh, options which we can also use now workspace issues to consider before planning these are these are things which we need, we need to consider before planning will you have clients visiting your home office if yes then uh, what will be their uh, movement passage how will it be different uh, uh, from your uh, housing residing space will there be a family balance between your uh, working station and your client movement second will you have employees working from your home if so so where will be uh, they parking their uh, vehicles secondly how will they move in and out from the home office if you have a home office maybe inside the house so that that won't possible because family might uh, they might say we don't uh, allow it and if you have a place which is maybe a basement or maybe a separate outdoor uh, structures so in that case the employee movement is easy will second third is will you manufacture or assemble products at home see in this case if you if you consider manufacturing the products first of all you will have to ask your local uh, local government authorities whether you are allowed to manufacture any product inside the house or maybe in the vicinity of the house secondly if if they if you have, if you get the uh, permission so then comes the point where where will you manufacture the products do you have a separate room do you have a separate access uh, will the raw material or the furnished goods move from your main entry door or will will they have a separate entry door so these are the certain points which you need to consider then comes do you need extra storage space it depends upon the type of business you are doing in say if you have a, a law firm in that in a law firm people uh, usually they have to stack a lot of books because there are certain cases which which they come up every day and they need to study them so in that case you need a lot of storage space you need a lot of filing storage space to accommodate your essentials then comes do you have easy communication connectivity these days as we know due to covid 19 people most of people are working from home and this is what we are doing we are we are basically uh, discussing this whole uh, presentation only because more or, more or less people are working from home and they need a lot of home working space so in that case you the prime importance becomes you need a very good internet connections so in it is very essential to have a communication connectivity for a home office now we come for a second segment which says planning your ideal workspace building a great home office starts with a design plan that improves comfort reduces external noise makes work workspace enables you to take into account all your needs and avoiding costly mistakes plan sorry 
uh, make, makes workspace ergonomics in uh, pr priority, lowers energy costs, and inspires you and increase productivity. If you plan a home space, home workspace in an efficient manner, you, you will feel that the product, your working productivity increases to many folds. If you have a separate space apart from your living room, or maybe uh, as we have discussed, if you have separate room in the house, which can house your workspace. So in that case, productivity increases to many folds. It lowers the energy which you uh, spend uh, in balancing your uh, family and business life. And thirdly, inspires you a lot to increase your business. Planning your workspace enables you to take into account all your needs and avoiding costly mistakes. As, as we have selected the workspace by now, consider planning it effectively. Firstly, take the measurements of the room and get scale drawings from the concerned person. So first of all, you need to measure your room or, or an area where you we are planning to create your workspace. So if you, if you have already planned. Secondly, check if any renovations need to be made in the selected area. It is important to, to consider this because if you are, if you are, if you have selected a space which requires a renovation, uh, maybe there's some seepage in the wall, in the walls. Maybe there is dampness, moisture, smelly area. You need to change the uh, fabric of your chairs or maybe sofas uh, placed along with your uh, office chairs. Whether you need to upgrade your cabinets. In that case. You, your renovation part becomes very important. Next step is to identify and prepare a budget of all the items you need to purchase for your home office. See, budget is a very crucial part. If you if you have a say a certain budget and, and if you uh, cross that budget, you your you your expansion of the business hampers. So in that case, you, sh you should identify and prepare a very solid budget before, before uh, creating a workspace. The extra time spent planning your workspace now will ultimately save you time and money down the road, as we have discussed. And it won't be necessary to interrupt business to redo your workspace or lose productivity because the space does not suit your business needs. Try to use maximum of recycled or sustainable products. See, sustainability is very important. You, you, if uh, we are talking about recycled products only because we need to low down the uh, carbon uh, carbon emission, and secondly, sustainability. You should, uh, uh, you, uh, however possible, you should use recycled products like maybe bins, maybe. Uh, recycled paper or anything which is easily recycled. And the most important point to be considered is don't don't forget to hire an architect or an interior designer. Next, equipping your home office workspace. Now we have already selected our workspace. We have prepared a budget of our workspace. So now it is time to get your home office essentials in order. Equipping your home office workspace with essentials like equipment, furniture, supplies, technology, communication connectivity requires consideration of three major factors. First, business needs. The need of the, need of the equipment varies with the type of the business you have planned for your workspace. Each business requires the essentials like furniture, technology, etc. to operate your business smoothly. See, if you, if you are, maybe if there is a lady who is running a boutique, right? She, her needs are totally different from an architect who is running his office or studio. So he needs, he needs a separate uh, furniture. He needs separate equipment, supplies, whereas a boutique setup requires a totally different setup. Budget. As we have already discussed, budget plays major role in setting and expansion of business. 
ways financially challenged and on to, uh, financially challenged entrepreneurs can reduce cost of home office essentials is through borrow barter lease or buy second hand there are a lot of options you can cut down your budget you can borrow things from your friends family or their near neighborhoods you can barter the things you have certain things you can uh, give it to your friends and if they have certain extra supplies they can easily uh, shift to you you can lease it or you can purchase second hand you you can easily get second hand furniture from market which is of good condition and it it will definitely cut down your budget to a lot of uh, figures thirdly personal comfort you will be sitting writing or using computer at your at your desk for many hours at a stretch so your office chair and workstation needs to be ergonomically designed and adjusted for your personal comfort why we say ergonomically see in this case ergonomics plays a very important role your heights of the chair your heights of the table if you are having a standing setup so your height of the standing table should be very much planned we will discuss about this these uh, points in coming slides next chairs armrest headrest must be adjustable and desk heights must be just right with uh, good support to your uh, wrist spine and neck next see we were discussing about the ergonomics working desk and tables ergonomics takes part here it starts from here make sure you have enough space to work at your desk so you if you have a space say maybe a table of 2 feet and you are uh, you are running a maybe a graphic designing concern which where you require two or three screens in your desk space and along with that you need a sketching uh, sketching setup you require a lot of uh, uh, essentials on on your table so in that case you need a lot of uh, enough space to work so in that case maybe you require a workstation of maybe around 3 and 1/2 feet or 4 feet secondly standard desk height if you are sitting it should be around 29 inches see if, if and it also depends upon the chair height as well if if your uh, chair height is lower and your table height is 29 inches it will also create a, a, a pain in your neck so in that case also your chair height should be very much Uh, of a standard and if you have a standard standing uh, setup in that case your standing table should have a height of around 41 inches and second point which comes in this matter is your eye angle in a sitting setup you require a minimum eye angle of 20 degrees and a vertical say sitting angle of 90 degrees what is the uh, sitting angle your hands are uh, placed in your keyboards and, or my or your mouse and you have a straight neck seeing your screen so the eye which which makes the angle with your screen should be 20 degrees minimum and your upright position should be of 90 degrees now in today's time oh, sorry today's time there's this option for height adjustment desk as well in these in this case they can offer you two uh, setups in a single desk which is a, a sitting uh, setup and a standing setup so they can be manual or they can be automatic hydraulic hydraulically uh, functions as well it saves you money and provides extra comfort in this case next point is your desk chair so in this you should always choose a desk chair which is ergonomically correct as we have discussed and secondly it should be it should have adjustable height and depth lumbar support a backrest and enough cushioning in the first setup there's a girl who is working in your, uh, in a work space and has a sitting setup in that case she is sitting in a adjustable chair with a very good support of the backrest uh, whether she is uh, uh, she is she is sitting in a very 90 degree angle with a 20 degrees of the screen 
and second is in the second option we are having a couch sitting chair see these chairs it is not an adjustable chair it is a static chair but let me tell you these chairs if designed and fabricated properly they can also provide you a lot of comfort filing cabinets and bookshelves filing cabinets uh, when we talk about filing cabinets as in the first figure of the see a uh, blue figure um, in this case these are called filing cabinets and you, you can choose your storage type depending upon your need and business type if you if you have a uh, if you have a business which requires a lot of file storage and and you prefer not to keep your files outside maybe in the stacks or maybe in the shelves so in that case you require a separate filing cabinets cabinets so it they can have a locking system or they can be just a drawer system side pocket shelves drawer cabinets stackable trays and shelves can be another options for these storages see we have given a lot of uh, storage options we have given customized uh, we can opt for customized filing cabinets we can opt for a Uh, if you can offer a, a cabinet which has a drawers and again has a bigger uh, uh, bigger storage space uh, pull out space in the bottom then we can choose uh, storages along the uh, our uh, working desk we can go for uh, sleep pockets we can go for uh, stackable shelves we can go for uh, overhead uh, shelves as well so these are another options we can choose out for the storages in first option what we are discussing here is if somebody is very keen of uh, keeping books reading books and his maybe he is a book reader maybe he is a book he he were he is a freelancer who does uh, book reviewing in that case he requires a lot of uh, books uh, book storage spaces and if that space is connected to maybe a living lounge so so if if you can design the space accordingly you, you that can come out to be very beautiful place all right second we are showing is the stackable trays stackable shelves which can easily which can be easily adjusted in vertical manner you can adjust the heights of these stacks thirdly we can opt for open and covered storage spaces see in this kind of a storage uh, storage cabinets or we can say spaces you can you can also you can utilize this space for the storage of uh, your books your files and uh, secondly you can also utilize this to decorate your offices thirdly you can opt for a uh, bag uh, cabinets along with an open shelf cabinet and and if there is a small maybe 9 inch or uh, 12 inches or 9 inches space uh, next to your window sills so uh, if if that uh, space can be utilized so can you you can also create a shelf or a storage uh, uh, shelves in that space as well so now comes the part lighting lighting plays a very major role in in your offices sufficient lighting in indirect lighting to illuminate your workspace is very important uh, in term of uh, indirect light uh, what we mean is that it doesn't it should not come from front your uh, light fixture should be somewhere which doesn't uh, comes in your viewing angle overhead lighting from ceiling lamp is usually the best in your offices add a mix of light add a mix of desk and floor lamps to the room to set a warm atmosphere so in in pictures as well we, you can see if you if you can add a mix of a, a floor lamp or a desk lamp so it also creates a very good ambience natural light is quite pleasant but diffuse it with shades or curtains to avoid glare next part we we all uh, as we were discussing in the previous slides technology and connectivity so it includes laptop or desktop computer high connectivity high speed connectivity and office phone or printer and any video conference equipments 
if you talk about connectivity or technology you require extra space to accommodate these things so in that case you require maybe a separate table you require a bigger table to add, a bigger uh, office table to adjust these things you require a separate space to place your paper shredder or maybe a, a safe or uh, any other extra e equipment technologies which you use uh, apart from what we are showing in case if if i am talk if in the second slide if we are if the we talk there's a guy who is who is studying architecture so if if he requires a workspace he need a, a say around more than 4 and a 4 or 4 and a half feet table minimum 4 and a half feet table to accommodate his drawing table his computer screen along with the computer and mouse and a separate uh, storage or a stacking space for the uh, another essentials which are required now we come to the last part of our presentation which is simple tips to design a positive aura of a workspace in this part we'll discuss a lot of uh, tips which are which we can utilize which we can use to create a good which we can use to beautify our workspace firstly keep it bright and clear colors plays a very major role in this segment color uh, color psychology is a real concept that works great to make mindset of employees whites are the best co most common which has the traits of positive pure clean true innocent silent lightweight clarity airy and bright and secondly it increases the it virtually increases the size of your room we were talking about steve jobs earlier so we will also quote the example again steve jobs painted his wa office walls all white to increase the clarity and minimize distraction by colors and to generate new interesting ideas for his business his his ideology was that he needs a clean space for working second blue is also considered preferable color at workspace due to traits like constant positive impressive energetic high spirited and calm use uh, if blue color is used in the room it can uh, it can increase your uh, creativity and also these the blue color is mostly used in rooms which require brainstorming if you have a business type which is uh, more of a brainstorming so you can utilize blue color in your rooms then comes green for inspiring innovation we all know green color uh, indicates uh, with the nature it inspires you to innovate it inspires you to think uh, new ideas similar to blue green is a calming color that promotes harmony and balance it 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 also can enhance creative performance of uh, if you are uh, working alone so it enhances the creativity and performance of the employees as well if they are working along with you red so if we talk about red color red color is very powerful color it helps in it, it helps increase performance in employees who have detail oriented working why we talk about red the if if you need energy in your working if you need enthusiasm if you need energetic uh, uh, atmosphere in your workspace so you can opt for red color you can or if you don't require if you don't like bright reds you can uh, go for calm reds you can go for cherry red or which are new basically neutral in shades never go for uh, colors like gray uh, in your workspaces these are usually dull shades uh, why we uh, us usually most people they prefer uh, gray shades in different uh, room options but in offices where you required energy where you required uh, inspiration where you require performance oriented working so in that case you should you should not go for gray color 
and secondly if you if you have a separate uh, office space maybe we are talking about a basement office space where you can house uh, different segments of your offices maybe uh, you 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 have a uh, your private office you have a staff office you have a reception and you have a conference room never go for yellow color in the conference room uh, why we talk why we say about yellow color it it creates dullness in your work pale we when we talk about yellow we talk about pale yellow so uh, pale yellow and yellow co uh, compensates so in that case it it reduces your uh, performance it reduces your uh, thinking uh, uh, mindset it re it reduces your thought process so in order to avoid that never go for yellow next add greenery to your workspace we greenery as we have already green color as we have already said it inspires you to innovate and secondly if you, if you bring uh, nature inside your uh, office so it it becomes say it increases your performance many folds it enlightens your mood adding plants to your desk will make uh, the space feel less stuffy there is there are plenty of easy to care for plants that remove toxics from the air so i'll i'll just uh, ask rajat if he can uh, share a video link uh, there's a youtube video link we uh, we uh, did a few months back it it is all about how and uh, how you can utilize plants inside your home spaces so you can you can easily uh, go through that link rajat will share the link with you in youtube and uh, zoom channel thirdly plus they will add a great pop of color to your desk it will add another color to the existing color options which you have on your desk next option is lamp for your bright ideas if you if you need to uh, uh, be more creative you can also uh, go you can al always experiment with lamp li lamps and light bulbs as we are saying there's a small light bulb the left we have kept so that light bulb uh, it emits the light and uh, also it 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 is a very uh, creative kind of a lighting fixture which you, which you can use along with your workspace lights are very essential for workspace and so is its design as we have already discussed so you need to be very creative with your lights you need to be very creative with your lamps you need to be very creative with your overhead lights there are a lot of options available in the market you can also develop your lighting fixtures uh, by going through do it yourself uh, video links on youtube or any other platform you will find thousands of options uh, which you can create uh from the materials which you have or you already have inside your house which are dump and as we were discussing already that uh, you can uh, you can utilize those materials and recycle those materials uh, to create the lighting fixtures then comes use a desk organizer you need to declutter your uh, workspace uh, work desks in order to be more efficient you need to reduce clutter in your office uh, uh, home office keep things like notes phones pens nearby for easy access you you should keep uh, desk organizers in order to keep your small pads pens mobile phones your uh, maybe your uh, uh, please can i ask uh, you to shut down your mic All right so uh, you need to uh, have a very decent uh, desk organizer to keep your essentials on your desk then comes option to use cork boards for notes and sticky notes a sticky note set that won't have you guessing who what when where why when we say these points uh, and we consider these points we become more efficient in our working if you have a cork board or maybe a sticky note uh, board in in maybe in your office work workspace it it gives you a lot of uh, uh, 
it it enhances your uh, workability grab some full push pins and hang up things like photos notes receipts or documents to remind you your boards will serve as a visual reminder of things you need to do in in your office second option is light it how essential it is so we need to add a lot of uh, natural light in our home offices natural light is a key to make a space look more open and fresh if you use a mirror uh, in a room in which is a small size with a small windows it uh, and it is placed in a manner uh, it can make the room look visually larger decor decor your uh, workspace with wall arts of your interest office walls also need some attention you don't need you should not keep your office walls or maybe your workspace uh, walls dead with like maybe a uh, white framed or maybe any colored frame you should always or go for wall arts design it with combination of paintings inspiration quotes uh, maybe uh, any metal arts which which are of your interest see uh, in in first figure a lady is placing a painting her sketches and a quotation uh, along with her uh, wall uh, workspace and the second option uh, this guy has very beautifully enriched his uh, workspace by placing a lot of uh, unique things collecting all around from the globe so there's a there's a, a, a horns hanged on the wall there are sketches there are uh, hats lying in front of the workspace so you can be very creative with your workspaces uh, sorry uh, i think we have all right install backlights at workstation you can play play with colored mood lights or led strip lights in your workspace um it it will it will uh, create a, a different ambience for you in your workspace try automating it and, and and enjoy the environment it creates see if if you uh, if you like uh, indirect lighting if you like the led strip lights you can go in for maybe a warm yellow or maybe uh, if if you require inspiration if you require energy you can go in for red uh, led lights in your workspace when when you are not uh, doing any work which is uh, which requires concentration and it requires energy so you can just simply change the mood of the uh, place by changing the color of the light you can also uh, go in for uh, uh, the lights which we hang uh, while celebrations along your workspace then you can opt for motivate yourself through motivation quotes in your home office space keep it close so you can refer to it during the most stressful part of your day see if we go in for a, a motivational quote along the workspace if you if you go if you hang a motivational quote or a quote which which gives you energy which lightens up your mood it will help you go away with your stress and secondly it will also uh, enhance the uh, enhance the uh, mood of the space sometimes all you need is a positive mantra to set you back on track and help you tackle your hardest tasks now it's over to you to tweak things as needed to suit your perform per profession and personal taste consider your profession and consider your uh, needs type of business you want go in for whichever space or whichever office setup suits your business you should always opt for that kind of a business thank you thank you so much gunit uh, i would request you to if you can uh, close the screen sharing part so that we can take the question answer round yeah yeah so it was a very very interesting webinar and much needed at this time so basically what all tips i i guess you have covered almost everything but still we have many questions i mean when you were giving your webinar we had lots of questions from our members because we are live on youtube we are live on facebook and zoom so uh, 
I guess we. I, I'll start with the questions. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the first question is from Mr. Manmeet Tuli. He wants to know. I have a storeroom in my house. Okay. It has no source of natural light. Kindly suggest what will what wall paint color can I use there? See, uh, usually storerooms are of a smaller size, and we have already discussed in the presentation white room, white colors. Uh, if we go in for white hues, white color options. So it can visually enhance your space, visually increase the size of the space. It won't actually increase the size of the area of the room, but visually it can uh, suit. It can be suitable for your setup. Right. Thank you. So we'll move to the next question. Mr. Rubal Tuli wants to know. I I want to create a partition in my house lobby. Okay. and i want to create a partition in between the lobby and my working desk okay kindly suggest i want a visual connect between the two spaces you want a visual connect in the two spaces so i'll just share the screen again and i'll i'll show you a option which we were uh, discussing uh, all right so okay so i'll just quickly go down to the option which we were discussing Mm. see you can you can opt for glass walls uh, glass uh, partitions uh, which which we can easily can which which easily connects you with your working space and your living space you can uh, have a sliding partitions sliding glass partitions which have a maybe it has a holy solely it has a glass or maybe it has a frame wooden frame along with it so you can uh, go in for those options you can uh, uh, cut down the uh, visual area uh, we, uh, we can you can uh, reduce the visual uh, impact by uh, using your uh, blinds along the partition or else you can also opt in opt in for a, a free standing partition wall which which has a separate uh, entity on your uh, living area side and a separate entity on your working Area. Right. So, uh, next question is from Mr. Anurag Vyala. Okay. Uh, from where I can source the furniture for home office? See, there are a lot of uh, uh, options you can go in for. Uh, there are a lot of companies which manufacture uh, furniture, uh, home office furniture. Uh, you you can uh, go in for maybe. Godrej, you can go in for GK. You can go in from AFC Systems. They, these are a few names I am offering. There are there are n number of uh, uh, furniture option uh, available in the market. If you are uh, considering uh, Amritsar as a market, so there uh, there's a uh, there's a company called uh, uh, Fern Studio in Amritsar. You can also go in for that uh, to create your furniture. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Sahib Preet Singh wants to know: I am a painter and want to set up a studio at home. Tell me what should what should me what should be the minimum area required? Uh, you want to set up a studio, a painting studio at your home, right? I am a painter and want to set up a studio at home. Tell me okay. what should be the minimum area required? Firstly, I need to understand what will be the requirements. Like, will there be any movement uh, in your space, or you will be uh, working privately in that space? First, uh, if you can just, if I can get an answer to that. I guess let's, uh, yeah, no, uh, the answer we are getting the answer. Okay. It is basically no client movement. Okay. so in that case you can you can uh, start by a area which is as low as maybe 8 feet uh, in width and 10 feet in depth and you can go up till maybe whatever size you want if you want a luxury uh, working space so you can go in for um, maybe 14 feet by 16 feet 14 by 18 feet uh, office where you can you can uh, create your uh, uh, you can you can paint your uh, stuff and along with that you can also host your exhibitions parallelly so uh, we have next question from mr amit madan 
Okay. Uh, he says in small cities there are houses made in two small spaces to make a home office. Can you suggest some studio office kind of idea also for such places? See, sir, uh, as we have discussed earlier, if you if if you have a double height home, and you have a uh, if you have a four maybe three and a half feet width uh, space under the staircase. so you, so that can be a very good option for you because in any case that uh, space is uh, dead space for you it it will always be a shabby space and you will simply throwing your uh, used newspapers or maybe extra things in that area so you can go in for a closed uh, uh, cabinet and cabinet uh, setup under your staircase secondly if you uh, if you have a separate corners maybe in a lobby living space or maybe in a room and if you have a corner space of around say uh, an l space corner which has a uh, size of 4 uh, feet by 4 feet it is a, if it is a, a vacant space 4 by 4 vacant space so you can also uh, create a workstation in that area as well thank you for answering that gunit so the next question is from mrs rochika she she says i have a full equipped office in ranjit avenue okay. but these days because of the lockdown i'm working from home mm. and i want to make a temporary office kindly suggest what material can i use to create my temporary desk and storage as i will not be using it for a long time okay see uh, in case of a temporary home office options uh, if if your family can accommodate with you see why we say family because uh, we always say family come first so you need to uh, you need to discuss with them first and if you have a dining table in your house and you you if you can avoid using that dining table for some time maybe till the lockdown period so you can always set up a separate uh, workstation on your dining table itself because it has a lot of room uh, to house a lot of uh, essentials you have uh, for that and apart from that uh, you can also opt in for uh, side tables or maybe a center table uh, for some time um, like there are no uh, if we talk about uh, lockdown time so there are no uh, clients or maybe guests expected at home so you can convert your drawing room as well into as a as a temporary office space people uh, those uh, there are a lot of people who have small homes and they they need some working space maybe a lady we were talking who needs a boutique and she cannot uh, she needs a boutique very urgent and she cannot wait for some wait for time so what people do is they convert their drawing rooms in in their workspaces and then take their uh, sitting into their lounges or maybe living spaces so you can always opt for the drawing room as a temporary workspace as well as we, as it is a separate uh, uh, space apart from your complete uh, living house living house so i will go to the next question gurit mr gagan wants to know i have a home office and it has marble floor which needs to be changed mm. i am thinking of to put laminated wooden flooring do you think it's a good option see if you don't have cli- uh, uh, there are there are uh, a lot of uh, quality of uh, laminated wood floors available in market okay so if you can go in for a maybe ac4 option which is in medium range okay and of a good quality a good material good company which which gives you a very decent uh, warranties and guarantees for the materials you can always go in for the laminated wooden uh, options as a flooring option uh, it is just that you need to take consideration about uh, uh, your works a uh, workspace in a manner that the water doesn't stands for a much longer time or it doesn't the room doesn't have moisture in it otherwise 
uh, it will hamper your flow right thank you so much guneet thank so uh, we'll move to the other question that is from mr tanu das he wants to know what what type of color will be more effective monochromatic or contrast see if you need a calm space and uh, if you need a calm space and an inspirational space uh, you should go in for monochromatic themes contrasting themes are usually uh, uh, usually suited for those who have uh, energy oriented vision so there is, uh, we have already discussed that um, you should always opt in for uh, the uh, or designs which suits your type of business you are planning so if you if you plan your uh, uh, space accordingly and your colors it will always suit your uh, environment accordingly so uh, monochromatic is a better option than going for contrast options i'll i'll uh, also uh, uh, i'll also also ask rajat if he can share a link to the video which has different uh, concepts of the of the home, home office spaces which you can uh, go in for and you can get ex- ample amount of uh, ideas uh, to set up your home offices yeah guneet i have already shared the the two videos all right thank uh, on, you on yeah on all the platforms thank you so we have another question from mr das he wants to know have do you have faith on vastu does it consider in office space so that's that's a little tricky one <laughs> yeah actually it is a very tricky part to see if if uh architects usually uh, have to compensate or we can say have to uh, neglect a lot of designs just because of fast food mm-hmm. uh, so do you do you guys do you guys do consult vastu i I, I, I i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you having faith in vastu is one thing and having faith in yourself is another thing okay so if if you consider your, your yourself as the if you consider god or if you consider yourself as a powerful person so vastu will never hamper uh, you any ways vastu only uh, comes in part when people say ki yaar mere ko bahut zyada vehm ho gaya vehm uh, uh, superstitions people fall in superstitions in that case people usually go in for vastu options sometimes uh, people say that vastu has changed their life a lot maybe it it can be a good for somebody it can be maybe it it hasn't changed anything for another kind of a people set of people so we cannot say that uh, see personally if you talk about me so as an architect i simply believe in designs we simply design the things considering the uh, considering the things things like uh, solar orientation and uh, uh, open close void mass void relationships usually we don't go in for vastus but if we have a stubborn client which only requires the designs which are vastu uh, specific so in that case we do go in for vastu options we don't have any other options other to uh, we cannot lose the clients in that case we we go in for the vastu options considering the fact that our designs don't get yeah it's, it's a very controversial topic basically yeah, exactly. and we, you know we so can you, have a big debate on that you can you can have a different uh, setup Views, you can have a yeah. different setup in that yeah everybody has a different view for that so so i think we should avoid this question it's a, it's a good idea <laughs> yeah so we will move to the last question guneet mr amit madan he wants to know what you suggest for a portable or convertible office portable or a convertible office yeah this is this is a very interesting uh, kind of a setup these days usually uh, uh, why interesting setup uh, because uh, these days people they change mood very often okay and if you if you have a, a setup which which requires movement casual movement from one place to the other and secondly you require complete office setup maybe a desk a laptop or uh, uh, 
um, your essentials along with your uh, 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 whenever you go wherever you go so you can opt for those things there are there are companies who are manufacturing modular furnitures which are adjustable which are openable which you can uh, which you can uh, use which uh, for uh, any uh, kind of a space and you can always um, uh, open the nut bolts and you can dismantle it you can assemble it anywhere anytime yeah, as we have discussed there are adjustable height desks there are adjustable chairs chairs cannot be moved i know but there are certain chairs which can be folded those chairs can't be say ergonomically correct or maybe comfortable but these can go in for the options if you have cushions along with it so i think uh, the portable options are quite in these days yeah and i guess this is very useful in in small spaces like mr i guess mr amit madan only asked the question ki yahan pe bahut chote chote ghar hai aur uske andar kaise kar sakte hai so i guess portable offices and all the options which are you give is a good option for small spaces yeah definitely definitely yeah so with that we are we are done with the questions good need right so first of all i would like to thank you on behalf of amrit sir founders for taking us taking out time for us although you are also very also a core member of amrit sir founders but still we would like to thank you kyunki aapne is time pe jo webinar diya ye need of the art tha kyunki is time pe sab hi work from home home kar rahe hai koi bhi nahi ja pa raha hai and beds ke upar kaam karna bahut difficult hai absolutely so yeah so this was very much required and you have covered almost everything i guess jo questions aapke webinar mein kuch bacha hi nahi tha jisme se koi kuch question puch sake so everybody asked their personal questions kaise kar sakte hai kaise nahi kar sakte so for this thank you so much guni and uh, in the end i would like to tell little about amritsa founders so amritsa founder association was founded with a view to promote high standards of business behavior based on ethical values of international work culture our mission is to empower young entrepreneurs grow their ideas generate employment and orga- and organize market clutter for a holistic progress of stand out stand alone enterprises so guys our next webinar is on 19th of june that is friday and the time will be 7 pm same as today and the topic is very interesting the topic the topic is let's eat up the market with marketing so i guess ye ek aaj ke time pe is tarah ka topic hai jo ki bahut zyada jaise sabhi log marketing mein ja rahe hain sabhi log online ja rahe hain so it's going to be a very interesting webinar and the webinar is uh, by mr amit madan so mr amit madan is basically into marketing and he is a is a one well known person in amritsar so i would request everybody to join us on So on 19th of June on at on Friday at 7 p.m. So with this, I would again I would like to thank you, Gini, for taking out time for making thank such you. a wonderful presentation. And with this, I will end up the webinar. Thank you.